What up, everybody? Look at this shit. First take, reacts to Stephen A. Smith, uh, Carmelo Anthony to the Cavs. All right, man, let's check this out and see what the hell they talking about. This shit crazy right here. Carmelo will take less with a buyout to the Cavs and would waive the no-trade clause if he was traded to the Rockets. So, John, and Phil Jackson yeah. um, I guess to Phil wasn't ways. wrong. So, Phil was trying to get Carmelo to get out, right? He was trying to say get out. He said no. So, Phil said, I'm out. So he goes out. So now it's all over again. Now Car Carmelo now speaks and says, yeah, I want to get out. So it's, <laughs> Will was right yesterday. It was not anything dealing with Phil Jackson. It was all around where Carmelo wanted to be. And well, that's what the problem is. Listen, you know, I think you're right, John. What this does at the very least is, you know, I don't like to debate people when they're not present. I like to do things face to face. But Max Kellerman was on yesterday and said that was the final nail in the coffin. That, that, that Phil had proposed this uh, completely um, ridiculous idea of buying out Carmelo. And ultimately, James Dolan's like, no, you're done doing damage here. But the truth of the matter <laughs> is, the buyout done. of Melo may happen anyway. The, yeah, the only yeah, lesson you can happen. take is, I don't know if I was right yesterday, I don't know if you were right, but I know this, the inmates are running the asylum in New York City. I don't know who's in charge of that team. I don't know if it's Carmelo, <laughs> I don't know if it's James Dolan, I don't know if it's the mob outside of Madison Square Garden. Who's running if you don't have some leader making coherent decisions, you are lost the same way you have been for 17 plus years. You will Damn. continue to be the Shit. worst one of the four worst franchises in the NBA, and God Ooh. should be. I mean, I live in New York. The New York Knicks should be one of the best, not one of the worst. Yeah. Yeah. But you'll continue to be this way because there's no head on the Giants. There's no brain <laughs> Look inside John the body. Sully, like, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to side with you here a little bit because uh, you're talking about two guys that have massive egos, and, and this is why they've been very successful in the league, Phil Jackson and obviously Carmelo, and um, they both continue to have verbal confrontation where people well the audience was us mm -hmm. and we were taking sides right and when you look right. at what happened at the end it's probably best that both of them are gone and that carmelo leaves because now if you carmelo want to really truly build this team it's for, team, for the rockets you got a Damn. young budding star Whew, now you gotta see what is around him how this play out, man? Because now people won't say Carmelo's not trying to win a championship. He can go play with his guy LeBron. Maybe LeBron's a little bit closer to maybe beating Golden State with Carmelo. Oh, has he? But at the end, these were two guys. I'm talking about Carmelo. Oh, get that and the coach defense. Good push. That Carmelo and the goat. Were general just, manager. And, yeah, general manager, coach, whatever. Excuse me, general manager that were verbally just going after each other, and they wanted to see who's going to win the battle. Right. Well, guess what? Carmelo at the end said, okay, you fired him. Guess what? I'm tapping out now. I'm tapping out now. I'll leave. $100 million dollar situation. $110 million dollars to have the Knicks start over. Damn. That's what it's going to take. And that's okay. $110 yeah. million. Dollars. You got to start. Start over. You know, listen, listen, listen to what Stephen A. had to say on this news, that, that, that Melo will accept a buyout to go to the Cleveland Cavaliers. That specifically means he's owed $54 million over the next two years. He will take a reduced figure of that. If the Knicks will let him go, let's call it 40, yeah. 35, whatever the number may be, he will accept that if he gets to go to the Cavs. But if he goes to another team, he like will. the one mentioned Houston, he's going to require a trade. In other words, he wants all his $54 million. Damn. If he goes yeah, to Houston, yeah, he, he wants all his money. But he'll waive his no-trade clause to he go play with CP3, yeah. who Stephen A. says is very, yeah. very close with Melo. So what should Melo do? Melo should stop holding the New York Knicks hostage, okay? That's the honest <laughs> truth. He's so he sure. Hey, he got a decision. So the Cavs the next or the Rockets. Several days, but why he won't leave New York? Is it because he wants to be close to his, to his son? Is it because he wants to reconcile with his wife, which are both very valid reasons? Is it because mm. now it sounds like if he was willing to go to Cleveland because he wants to play on a super team or go to Houston to play with his Damn. friend CP3? That's going to be a so hell of a super team without Lord. About. But what's the truth of the matter team. is, is I can't tell a man to give up his money, but you're going nowhere in New York. Nowhere. It's going Nowhere. Nowhere. So if you want to go somewhere, give up the money. It like ain't that much money. Win, I mean, shit, ten thousand, ten million dollars, no forty or fifty. What could you do with I forty that you can't do with fifty? Shit, come on, man. Yeah, if he goes, and I like the super teams. I like it. I like that. All of a sudden, it's a, oh, you went and got KD. You know, when you we weren't looking, Hell and yeah. he's doing this the next year. You know, 
I would, I would, if I was him and I would say, hey, give me less money, I'm going to get it back anyway, he's going to get it back. Yeah, you're going to get it back. Why are the Knicks going to do this? Why give Carmelo right. $40 million to go away? Because they're the New York Knicks. And they need to Why not? Shit. Well, because it's, it's only I'm money. I'm going to give you an answer. Why? I'm going to give you an answer. Why? Because it's $40 million. Okay, you know what? It's only money. It's, it's only money. money. That's what owners get to do. <laughs> hey, you it's know it's what? only money. This, this is how players look at it. I've been around you for three days talking what, about money, and then you turn around and say that to me. They get to spend their money. <laughs> yeah. Owners spend money. Right. Okay, so you, they do. You, it's a loss. Like, I'm going to write it off. Whatever. I have Porzingis. If, if, you're, if you're the Knicks right now, and Carmelo decides to go, wherever he goes, Porzingis is the guy. It's all about Porzingis now. It should be all about Porzingis. Let's build around that guy. It could be a, a whole I get it. It just cost you $40 million to do that. That's okay. <sighs> Shit. All right, man. Carmelo to the Cavs or the Rockets. CP3 on there. I just found that shit out. CP3. Him. What's the name? Hell of a super team. LeBron, Kyrie. <laughs> Shit. Either way it goes. I like the, the Rockets. Oh, I don't know if it's the Rockets, because shit, they already got two motherfuckers that, <laughs> my fault for cussing, but they got two two point guards that want to bring the ball up, that needs the ball in their hands at all times. So, put another one like Carmelo in there, he needs the ball, he makes everything stop, so I don't know if the Rockets would be a good fit. But the Cavs, I don't think that would be a good fit either, because they don't want nobody slowing the ball down too, because he gets the ball and he holds it. Like five seconds, and then he do is he he's a, too much of a one on one player. They already got Kyrie doing the one on one thing. I don't know. Either one of them might look like disaster. But hey, if you do it, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna watch both of them. See where it go. All right, man. If you like it, hit that subscribe and like button for me. Peace.